Hi, this is Ben, the librarian, and I'm here to help you find some peer-reviewed articles for a paper that you're going to write. First thing we're going to do is go to the Highline College Library's website and search their online catalog. When I get there, I'm going to go ahead and find the search space. And when I get to the search field, I'm going to type in Black Lives Matter. Let's say that's what I'm writing my paper about. And I'm going to hit search. I'm going to come up with a lot of results over 200,000. But what I really need are peer-reviewed journal articles. So I have over 200,000 results with the search words Black Lives Matter. That's a lot of material to go through. But for this paper, my instructor wants me to only use peer-reviewed journal articles. So over here on the left, you see a column that says narrow my results. Well, if I go down, it will say show only. I'm gonna select peer-reviewed journals. Go ahead and apply filters. Now I have over 100,000 hits. That's still a lot of results, but it's more in line of what my instructor wants me to use. Now I can go through and narrow my results with other search terms, like maybe throw some names in there or dates or even a specific event. So why does peer-reviewed matter? Well, peer-reviewed is something that's published as part of a process where the author's scholarly work their research or their ideas are then looked over by other people who are experts in the same field. The major advantage of using peer-reviewed articles is the process itself. Since the process is constantly looked over by other editors, you have more forms of trusted information that's been published. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.